Hello and welcome to Fantastic Science, where we will be discussing one of the most fascinating and mind-blowing stories in the lives of saints. Today, we will be discussing the story of Saint Dominic Savio, one of the youngest known saints in church history. Most of us know Saint Dominic Savio. He is one of the youngest saints known to us. He was born during spring on April 2, 1842 to Charles and Bridget in a small town in Riva, Italy. He was very pious, pious to the extent that one day he put stones and pieces of wood on his bed to suffer for Christ. He was very energetic in school and also studied well. Due to this pious nature, he received Holy Communion at the young age of seven. He made four resolutions that day. I will go to confession and communion as often as my confessor will allow. I will sanctify holy days and Sundays in a special way. Jesus and Mary shall be my friends. Death, but not sin. Once, his classmate had committed a serious offense. He accused Dominic Savio of doing the wrong. But Savio did not speak a single word. He stood there, silent, with his head bowed down suffering all of the scoldings of the teacher. A few days later, the boy who had actually committed the offense was discovered. At this, the teacher, who had previously spoken harshly with Savio, asked him, Why? Why did you allow yourself to be unjustly accused? At this, his reply was one of the most beautiful. I knew that the other boy was in trouble for other things. I remembered how our Lord was unjustly accused, and I hoped that if I remained silent, he would be given another chance. Once, in his eagerness to be a saint, Dominic Savio did what he considered saintly. He put pieces of wood and stones on his bed to suffer for Christ. When Don Bosco got to know about this, he called him and said, The way to be a saint, Dominic, is to be always cheerful, do your duties to the best of your ability, and give your classmates good example. Keep in mind that the Lord Jesus is always with you and wants your happiness. Once, two of his classmates had got into a serious fight and challenged each other to a rock duel. These fights usually ended with one side getting seriously hurt. It seemed that one boy had insulted the family member of the other. Now Dominic stepped in between them, took out a crucifix that he wore around his neck, held it up and said to them, Before you start the fight, look at this crucifix and throw the first stone at me. Now both the boys were startled and admitted that Dominic was their friend and meant him no harm. Then Dominic replied, Neither of you is ready to hurt me because I am your friend. Yet you want to commit this sin over a stupid remark made at school. Christ, who was innocent, died for us rather than seek revenge from those who hated him. On hearing this, both the boys slowly dropped the stones in their hands. Now Dominic Savio became one of the young apostles of Don Bosco's youth ministry. One day, late in the night, Dominic Savio insisted Don Bosco to come with him. On insistence, he dressed up and followed him. They passed from road to road, street to street until they reached a tenement. They climbed to the third floor and knocked at the door. A woman opened the door and exclaimed, There's little time. My husband is dying. He left the church, but now he wants to die a good Catholic. They went in as fast as they could. The man made his confession and Don Bosco blessed him. The man died soon after. One day in the morning, Dominic Savio insisted Don Bosco to allow him to go home. When Don Bosco asked why, he said that his mother was ill and that Mother Mary wanted to help her. Don Bosco allowed. When he reached home, he saw that his mother was undergoing labor pains. He hugged his mother and tied a scapular around her neck without her noticing. And he left immediately. A few days later, after the birth of Catherine, his mother realized that the scapular had saved her life. It was this scapular that has saved the lives of many others, including his sister, Teresa. Now, Dominic Savio used to live with Don Bosco in the oratory along with others who were part of the youth ministry. 
One day, his health began to worsen. Don Bosco called for a doctor. The doctor examined him and found out that it was a respiratory infection incurable at that time. A few days later, Savio started developing a persistent cough. Seeing this, Don Bosco insisted that Dominic Savio be taken home the next day. That night, Savio asked Don Bosco about death and heaven and about all sorts of joy that he would experience after death. The next morning, he got ready to leave the oratory. Dominic Savio walked past the gates of the oratory along with his father. The first few days at home were okay, but then his health began to worsen. The doctor, thinking it was an infection, bled him several times. Eventually, he lost a lot of blood and grew very weak. The priest gave him the sacrament of anointing of the sick along with confession and communion. Dominic was lying on his deathbed. A few moments before his death, he uttered his last words. Goodbye, Papa. Goodbye, Mama. What a beautiful sight I see. With that, he breathed his last. St. Dominic Savio died at the young age of 14 on 9th March 1857. Dominic Savio was declared blessed on March 5, 1950. He was later canonized by Pope Pius XII and declared saint on June 12, 1954. St. Dominic Savio is considered the patron saint of choir boys, the falsely accused people and juvenile delinquents. His feast is celebrated on 6th May. I hope you are inspired by the story of St. Dominic Savio. Let us also learn to forgive sins like Dominic Savio did and also teach others to do the same. Let us also pray to God that we may be holy and that we may never sin again. Remember, death but not sin. For the complete biography, please visit www.donboscowest.org slash saint slash Dominic Savio. I have taken all the information regarding Dominic Savio's life history from the same website, so be sure to check it out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like this video and also share it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it will help me tremendously. Thank you and God bless.